check this thing out. Head, neck, back on some of you guys, but it gets better. Okay, well I'm Dave, and this is going out on Pinnit and Best Tool Sport bikes because this one is really important. After this, there's going to be a bunch of great two-stroke videos on Pinnit. So Best Tool Sport bike guys might want to head over there, subscribe up. So it's probably no big secret uh, that a guy, John Ross and I, are in cahoots together. Um, that's where all the ECUs go. I do a lot of the product stuff, he does a lot of the programming stuff, we work well together, talk to each other three times a day, at least, but every once in a while, there has to be a FaceTime call, and the first time there was, uh, well, we're both older guys, we're not real big FaceTimers, so just two screams, I think, came out, because it was like, um, we hold have the phone like this, whatever, it goes on a FaceTime, and, and I just went, oh, and he just went, oh, and this is why. That's all he saw, and that's all I saw of him. Straight up, each other's noses, because we're not big FaceTimers, and we don't really know where to hold the phone. And he said, man, I know you live amongst a bunch of, uh, amongst a bunch of trees, but I didn't know 32 of them were in your nose. You got a lot of stuff going on in there. And a few days later, this cool thing showed up with one of the attachments being, of course, this groovy nose hair trimmer. When it first hit, all I remember it going, and then it got in there and, and the big trees are falling out. Okay, past that, one of the biggest problems with these things is the heat they generate in the TBI bikes, doesn't matter, 125, 300, not the older bikes. TBI is completely different than any other KTM motor. So don't make a comment, well, my, 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 TBI, my TPI bikes this, my carburetor bikes this. They're different. They're different. So quit comparing one to the other. Big problem with these things is coolant does not go around the exhaust valve anymore like it used to. It used to have a whole different set of passages in here and water would go around through the exhaust manifold. It doesn't do that anymore. Hence, there's a hot spot problem in these things. To prove it, look at this picture here where the cylinder is cracked right in this area. See, that's not so good. People are having the cylinders crack, they're having them warp, depending on how hot they get them, things are starting to leak. It's because this is the hottest part of the cylinder. Now, to figure it out, I had to go full hibbly on it, because normally it would be great if you could use some kind of thermocouple, stick things all over the cylinder, like it normally would, to pinpoint the hot spots, but you can't even get to it to do that. So the only way to figure out where the, I mean, we knew that was the hot spot. In fact, the best way that I knew that it was the hot spot, John has all the same issues and so forth, is just by going, or going by the discoloration on the left side of the exhaust port. In fact, look at this picture here. And you can see how it's dark right there because it's hot right there. It's always the same part on everybody's cylinder, 125 through 300. The exhaust valve, or the exhaust area, is hotter than it used to be, for sure, but the left side is the hottest part, hotter than the right side. And when you start to look at things, you go, okay, maybe that makes kind of sense, because you have a little hole right here, coming out through your water deal, and that, this hole lines up with this bleed hole right here in the top of the cylinder for the water passage to move the cylinder into the head. However, on this side, it, this is where it needs to move more or be restricted more. 
nobody knew. So we just had to experiment. And water does not flow very well in this area. In fact, next time you have your thing off, you can look in there with a the flashlight and you can realize, you know, casting slag and so forth, water really doesn't move out of this thing. In fact, you can have it upside down. You can pour water from your faucet into these passageways right here, and it doesn't even think about filling this or coming out of it. So that's part of the struggle point. Okay, so we had that hot spot. Now, when I cleaned it up and I used a better oil, um, something with a high film strength and a high flash point on it, like my favorite Klotz R50, or if you use an old bean oil or the 927, 927, even after quite a few dyno runs, it didn't happen. Did it still get hot? Yes, of course. But that was proof that these oils work much better with their higher film strength, more tenacity, right, thicker, at their higher um, flash point at a higher uh, temperature at which they burn away. So these offer much more protection against that. In fact, look at this picture here, after running it quite a bit on these, just to prove these are superior in that circumstance. too there's still a little discoloration there I just did clean it up with a little scotch fry pen to try to get away from it but it didn't come back like it normally did but it didn't solve the problem but that was just a band-aid you could do that and you could get away with things but this hot spot was still there and a lot of people like to run the other oils like this legends oil fantastic oil half petroleum half synthetic extremely clean burning if you don't want the spooge and you don't want to ever want to foul plugs and you don't want to you just want a clean burning thing this is actually the best you can get legends guarantee you it's the best you can get. Look it up. You gotta buy four gallons of it, 200 bucks. You know, I'm not, that's a lot of money. Well, not really. It ends up being a lot cheaper than this, right? Or even this, it ends up being like 11 bucks for a quart. So it's pretty stinking cost effective. And it's really, really good as far as the clean burning kind of stuff. Now, when I run this monoville, when it's wide open and everything, uh, well, I wouldn't because I would need all the protection I could get. But for most people that aren't really pushing stuff, especially now that we fixed the hot spot, this is your guy. So now the goal was let's fix the hot spot. Let's see if we can fix the hot spot. And the only way to do it, again, is go full hillbilly on it. So John and I were talking, and we thought the best thing to do is I have a bunch of cylinders, had a bunch of cylinders. I put a brand new one on the bike so I could go right back to looking at discoloration. And I took a quarter inch drill bit and I drilled this passage right here. We were thinking that maybe more water, we couldn't really make it smaller, um, maybe more water needed to flow here. So I took a quarter inch drill bit and drilled this hole. And here's a great picture of it here. But what else can you see? That cylinder, that brand new cylinder, I've been back to flogging that. 32 dyno runs on it, and it's same 60 horsepower range, like a great range, we're making great horsepower overall. But the catches, it's on back on the legends. And look at the look at this again, and do you see any kind of discoloration? You see a small scratch mark here, but that's just normal. But do you see anything discolored? Look. No, you do not. Which means the hillbilly method sorted it out, which is really good. That's a weak link, is that thing. And it would hold true on all bikes, 125 through 300s. Next time you're in there, you might want to cover your ass and get this bigger. It's a weak link like a light duty too. You could, and I know, or if any problems, that's cool. Go out and ride one more time on a light duty tube. Go out and ride 200 miles one more time on a light duty tube. And if you do have the problem, it's 100 miles out, you'll wish that you'd covered your ass and fixed that before you did have that problem. So that's the point of these videos. I don't care if your bike runs great. That's great. You don't need to make a bunch of comments letting them know my bike runs great. Who cares? The point of the video is to help people that are having problems or concerned about wanting to fix things that might be a problem. Tell your dog I said hi. Hi, dog. Hello, father. Hi, other dog. See you, dad.